Facebook rapist Tabo Besta story has been making headlines in the news. They have been arrested in Tanzania. The South African law authorities and enforcement are sent to fetch them. But the Len Party believes that the woman who is believed to be involved with Tabo Besta, um, Dr. Nandi Pa Makudumana, is a victim in this case. We are speaking to the chief leader of the Lent Party, Kobani Nzongana. Leader, welcome to Free State Central News. Why do you think that um, Dr. Makundumana is a victim in this case? Uh, thanks a lot, man. Uh, first of all, let me thank the opportunity that you granted me and also uh, thanks to the listeners who are listening uh, for, for, for this program. Uh, the things um, we, we, we want to highlight is that, you know, I've got uh, 15 years in prison, I worked in five years in the maximum prison. I know the setup of the prison system and I know it's how difficult it is. No one can escape the street in prison. I mean, you know, uh, Chrisha, I mean, Chrisha was one of the, one of the richest prisoners ever um, in South Africa that we ever had. Um, I had and we still a couple of, we still have a couple of them. We had, um, I mean, uh, gangsters, you know, in the Western Cape, having criminals like Rashid Stahe and many others, you know, Stensies and many others. So we still had Michael Boyce in prison. So for, 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 for anyone, you know, those people, I'm talking about their, 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 their I mean, their family, those were underworld gangsters, you know, they couldn't be able to do anything. But I can assure you, they could not even organize a single attempt to escape in prison because of how the prison situation is. So to, to suggest that the, 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 the Dr. Nani, uh, you know, organized, you know, and planned for, for, for that escape is a fallacy. You know, it's just an escape coach, uh, they have been escape, they usually have an escape coach, you know, uh, shifting the blame to hide the real people who are behind the escape of, of, of the escape. You know, this escape has been reported in 2022. Sure. If I'm not mistaken, I mean, uh, the Department of Correctional Services knew about this escape, you know, uh, and they've tried by all means to, to hide this, this, this uh, You know, um, so all of a sudden, when this, this thing, I mean, uh, coming up and, and people start to see their stuff in this way, then uh, people started to make up stories that I mean, this woman assisted this, this guy to, to escape and all like that. Look, one thing that you must understand, you are talking about a lady here, a woman. In South Africa, it's a country where women are victims of crime, particularly by young crime. You know, uh, if men could not be able to handle this criminal in prison and keep him safe in prison, who was this woman? was going to be able to, to, to come forward and say this, this guy here is in my house and all that. After he's been let out, I mean he's been released by the authorities, people who've got keys, who are controlling keys. My brother, let me tell you the prison system, how does it work? When you want to get a prisoner inside the cell, you sign a register. When you get it, before you get a key to go and take out that offender from that cell, you sign for that key. So a person who's got a key in prison is signed for that key. A person who's going to take out a prisoner from the cell is signing for that prisoner. Now, how do you tell me that a woman, I mean, who knows absolutely nothing about the prison system, you're saying that she hated the guy to come out of prison. That is totally fallacy, and people must not believe that. You know, and we must make sure, as the land party is saying, we stand firm, we are going to uh, assist the family of that lady. If she wants the legal assistance, as a part, you are going to assist her with legal assistance. And we also engage with our legal team. They are prepared for that. We are just waiting the confirmation from the family. Mm. In, in your statement, one of the things that you have also suggested there is that the state must be thankful because um, she is still alive. She could have been killed by the Facebook several rapist, but it has been said that the two are allegedly in a relationship. How can Tabo maybe probably want to kill someone that they've been in a relationship for a very long time? Because this has been reported that it had it has happened in 2020, last year, up until to this point. 
why would you think that sh- sh- he would have killed her? Remember, Chabo was in prison sure. for killing girlfriends. Sure. So those people were in love with him. Maybe people do not understand that. Chabo killed women that he was in love with. The, the, the last one, uh, particularly in the in, in Cape Town, the letter, mm. he regret. He said, I regret, you know, because these women, I love them. I love this woman with all my heart. And if I had conduct, I could call the family of that woman and say, look, I did this. And he did that. So you're talking about someone here who was obsessed with women. You're talking about someone here, I mean, uh, 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 you know, um, who had love for women, but at the end of the day, could not be able to treat these women with kindness. You know, because when they found out and decided to have some disagreement, then you could not think properly. The only thing you would, which we would use, we would use a weapon or a knife, then we end up killing them. You know, because according to him, he would say, I mean, I was trying to scare this victim. Then, incidentally, I ended up killing these people. So, we are talking about this kind of a person and killed, if I'm not mistaken, three women. So, that tells you clear. If Tabo Pesta managed to escape, I mean, from, uh, from, uh, from Tanzania and reach a safe destination where everyone will know. Definitely, she was going to kill that woman because he will know, he was going to kill that woman because he, he will know that there will also one person who knows why I'm in this country. So to kill the evidence, it was going to be easy for him to kill that woman, bury that woman, after that, live a normal life in a, in a country as a citizen. So that was going to be possible. Sure. You are clearly presenting um, Dr. Magundumana as a victim in this case, but the crowned up media whom broke the story and reported that Tabo is not in fact the prisoner that has died in Mangawung um, Correctional Service Center. They have indicated and reported that Dr. Magundumana collected the body from the state mortuary days after the escape, claiming that she's the wife or the customary law wife of Tabo Pester. Let, 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 let me tell you this, my brother. Uh, any normal South African must go to a, to a funeral parlor and go and make a claim that I'm claiming to get to receive this food. Sure. I mean, the story itself does not make sense. You can't go to a mortuary and demand, even, even, even in a state, uh, Moshe, you can't. They need one, they need more than one witnesses to come and collect the body and to confirm that this person who come and collect this body is a relative of the family. So you don't just go to a um, state Moshe and claim. I mean, ask yourself why they go, she go to the state Moshe. Why a state Moshe? Remember, the state is deeply involved in this case. Now, Using the state mortuary is a very I mean, sophisticated strategy to run away from the crime that, uh, and the negligence that has been caused by the state. So that they, they are easy to, it would be easy for the state to manipulate its officials. Because remember, they are paying these officials, they are in the payroll of the state. Mm. But why they cannot use a private uh, I mean, uh, entity? Why this woman didn't go to a private mortuary? Sure. Even in the, in, the, in the public mortuary, it, 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 you, you can't just come and, and, and collect a body, my brother. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. I have families who struggle to get their relatives, you know, from the state mortuary. I have those families. I'm not talking about nonsense. In the Western case, not one family, not one family, more than five families. I have them. The other one, the guy was missing, and the family contacted me, and we have to assist, and we have to intervene. To get that body, I want to tell you, it, 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 it did not take, I mean, even a week. It took some months because they had to conduct the DNA to make sure that this person really is a relative, I mean, to, 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 to this family and all that stuff. Sure. So that is the situation. It's not easy to come to the state, I mean, um, mortuary and get the body. And no, that, that's not. But I can tell you, this is a cooked information, my brother, trying to nail this woman so that this woman can be looked like she was a criminal, you know, and, and, and she was the one who was responsible out of all these things. Sure. You are also suggesting 
that um, she's a victim even in this case. Today, her father and a former um, G4S employee appeared in the Mangaung High Court. Um, they are charged with five charges. One of the charges, it's murder. The same media house that broke the story, the ground up, has reported that she submitted an affidavit from her father as a proof of Lobola negotiation, which present her as the wife of Tabo Bester. Your reaction to the fact that now the father has been charged of the same person that you are saying it's a victim? No, no, no. Let, let, let me tell you this. Uh, when you manipulate a woman, for instance, and, and, and you put her in a trap, mm. we, we, we must not deny the fact that there was a relationship with Tabo and Dr. Nandi. Sure. That one, we, 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 we are not denying the fact. What is denying is that she aided an escape for the gentleman to run away from prison. <laughs> that, is, that is totally nonsense. It does not exist. Now, when they are doing that, I mean, prisoners are allowed to have, uh, I mean, affairs. Prisoners are getting married in prison and all that stuff. So for her to have a, a, a relationship with, with, with a prisoner, it is not a crime. It is there. In fact, it is protected. And in fact, the, 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 the white paper in correction, you know, encourage women, I mean, prisoners to offenders to have relationship with communities, to have relationship with their loved ones, to have relationship, I mean, with their family. It does encourage that so that they can be easily reapplicated. Now, you have his father in charge. I mean, let the court take its own law. And that does not necessarily mean that she aided the woman. She can be, he can, he can be, I mean, the father can be charged. The, cha the father will tell the court what happened regarding to that. But I can tell you, absolutely, it does not exist that the woman he aided the, 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 the gentleman. We are not denying the, the fact that she was in a relationship with the offender. Absolutely, we are not denying it. And it is not a crime. South Africans must understand it is not a crime. They, have, they, were, they, were, they are also being encouraged offenders to also to be in a relationship. In fact, offenders do get married inside the community. Mm. Okay. Last question. You have admitted that these two people, they were in a romantic um, relationship. Do you think that it is in the interest of justice for now for the state to release her after they have been arrested in Tanzania, coming back to South Africa? It is in the interest of justice to release her because I could probably assume that she now knows more than what some of us cannot know about Tabo Pester. To, to be a state witness, you do not have to be kept behind bars. Remember, when you're talking about criminals, criminals commit crimes and they will still move around because they, there is a bail condition. Now, for her to be kept inside in the prison, I mean, that, she can be easily manipulated and all that stuff. You know, she could be easily, I mean, threatened, tortured, that she must change the statement and criminate herself and all that stuff. So, why you will keep that woman inside the prison if you want her to be? I mean, state witnesses are outside, you will be able to protect your witness while she's outside. Keep the lady outside and let her assist the state to uncover the real what happened to Tabo Pesa. And I can tell you, my brother, you'll, be, you, you, you'll find more that that woman, she's not the person who aided the gentleman to move out of prison. In fact, they are highly. I mean, I mean, politicians who are involved, who've got some of them, who've got shares with, with, with the company, just g 4 with the company that is, I mean, is, 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 is currently running the prison. You will be very shocked sure that this thing was, was, was organized by highly profiled people so that this gentleman can come out of prison. Mm -hmm. You know, definitely, they might know her, some of these politicians, they might know her, and took advantage of her. An interesting point that you are raising there, I know that I said that is the last question, but probably this will be the last question because you have just um, indicated that po possibly there might be politicians who have shares in the G4S company who could be probably involved in this whole saga of Tabo Pesta. Are you able at least to share with Central News who are those politicians? 
Look, uh, my brother, if you remember, there was once upon a time when I was still working in, in, in correctional services, I know that. Sure. The, I think you know a lady called Clinton uh, She was also one of the members of parliament or uh, an MP of the ANC. Um, I mean, there are a couple of them. There, are, I think one of the guys was Mukwena. I think he's a relative, but he's very close associate in the ANC. But one, one thing I can tell you, I know for a fact, there was once upon a time when school that they the ones uh, wanted to say, uh, including on the part so that look. Uh, before, in fact, it was not the powerful study. So this, I mean, this prison must be taken out to, to, to I mean, to, to, from the private entity to government. And, and, and there was a problem with that, and we end up being removed. Then there was uh, this guy, I mean, Smoon, um, the judge taking from the state also saying this prison must be removed. And what happened, you are taken out as the Minister of, of Correctional Services. He was made an ambassador. Um, in, 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 if I can remember, it's New Zealand, Australia, around those countries, but he was living in uh, Kasaka. Then after that, when they realized that Smundele could testify that, you know, there is a shenanigan that is happening in that, in that, in that prison, uh, he, he was later charged with criminal charges so that he can, he can, can make it, can make him to keep quiet and not coming forward with the information that was in his disposal. Okay. He's the chief leader of the Lent Party, the registered South African political party, which in most cases advocates for policies that are inspired by policy decisions used in the economic development of the People's Republic of China. Ndate Kobani Nzongana, thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for speaking to us. Eh? My pleasure, my brother. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, my brother. All right.